<laughs> Holy shit. This is the exact atmosphere I need for this type of movie. It's fucking raining hard as hell. I'm out here. Um, getting drenched. And uh, this is, will probably have kind of weird ass camera angles. Considering we are... Uh, yeah, in a downpour, as you can tell. Um, what movie has me battling the elements as well as the, the combined of movie structure itself? <laughs> None other than Gerard Butler starring in Geostorm. Okay, now that we're indoors, finally. Ugh. Um, let's talk about this piece of shit. I mean this movie. Um, Geostorm is the story of a scientist um, who Gerard Butler plays who is kicked out of uh, the government program for this big satellite that he happened to create that controls the world's weather. He's kicked out because he has a pompous attitude he doesn't like listening to authority, and he doesn't play well with the other people. His brother in the movie stays on, and is actually the head of the program. And then we fast forward three years later, something's going wrong with the satellite, and we need to find out who did it. So apparently in the three year spans, no one has bothered to study the satellite, or pay attention to how it works or find out how it works. So we have to call upon Gerard Butler to go back up into space and figure it out. And that's the premise of Geostorm. This movie is hot garbage. This is, I will say this, it wasn't boring unlike some bad movies like Pirates of the Caribbean or Alien Covenant. This movie wasn't that type of bad. This is a that on a whole different level where you can kind of tell this movie was made three three or four years ago and went through extensive reshoots because simply characters pop in and out without any mention rhyme or reason there's a daughter character who Gerard Butler has who shows up at the beginning throws some information on you disappears for acts uh, two through half of Act 3 shows up at the end and narrates the ending. The president character, I didn't even know who the hell the president was. Holy smokes, this, this movie had a problem introducing characters. Then, let's talk about the villain's thing. The villain, I won't say who it is because I don't remember. And I don't care. And neither did this movie. The villain, whole plot, relies upon destroying the satellite or making the satellite fail so it can destroy half the world's population so that the satellite doesn't go into international international custody despite the fact that the whole world created this but somehow America's in charge of it and he wants to become the president. And he probably wants diamonds. Holy shit, you can tell this movie was cobbled together from whatever was supposed to be the original movie and you can kind of tell it was supposed to be a longer movie because it clocks in at less than two hours. But holy shit, there's so much shit in there, you kind of feel it should have been more. Not that I wanted it to be longer. This movie was freaking bad. Characters literally, um, there is a science character named Dana who shows up in the, eh, kind of near the end of Act 1, who, once she helps Gerard Butler's brother do whatever he wants to do at the beginning, literally disappears from the movie. There's a love interest for Gerard Butler's, um, brother, who, um, She's a secret service girl who literally comes in and out of the plot as she pleases. Um, this movie is edited awfully. Either that or whoever was in charge of continuity really fucked up. 
because there are literal scenes where Gerard Butler would have no fa very light facial hair, in the next scene would have a full on beard, and in the next scene have a 5 o'clock shadow. <clears throat> the man playing his brother now would have regular hair, kind of f slick down hair, or his hair would just kind of be regular. You can tell this movie was shot over a bunch of years. You can also tell that there were supposed to be major subplots that were supposed to happen. Like, while this is a catastrophe flick, you can also tell it was supposed to be a family movie bet between um, Gerard Butler and his brother because they have a lot of interactions that kind of felt like there was supposed to be something else in there and then whenever they tried to throw it in, it didn't feel like it worked. The daughter as well, you kind of felt she was supposed to mean something. I, since she does open up, the, she does help open up the film and she actually monologues the ending of the film. Then you have the Secret Service girl who, hell if I know what she was supposed to do other than be the love interest for someone. Um, and you can also tell like the plot for the main villain was hatched up badly. Not that I say it was a good one. Like I said, it was a, this was a Lex Luthor Batman vs. Superman level of ridiculous convolution. As he wanted to be the president of America, but at the same time, if you actually look at where the Geostorm map was headed, he was about to destroy freaking like two-thirds of America. What the hell? You want to be a president of freaking seven states? Then there's the whole thing about the space station itself. Not, the space station itself is a mixture of the world coming together to make it. But in three years, America took over it. But at the same time, everyone in the space station is represented. There are people from uh, Mexico, Australia, um, uh, um, the Middle East countries. Holy shit, this movie's awful. Oh my lord. And it's funny that we're gonna, we, uh, I went to go see it on a day like this where it's freaking raining. Holy crap, even God told me you shouldn't be watching this movie. Ugh. This movie is stupid and really bad. The story's nonsensical. No one makes any sense. Nothing is really cobbled together. They contradict themselves constantly. And you kind of feel it was supposed to work if it would have been edited the way, or if it would have had the original story. But even then it wouldn't have saved this movie. The disasters were okay. The lightning effects looked laughable. They looked like Back to the Future Part 2. I was waiting for Doc Brown to show up in his DeLorean. It's not a bad, this is not a good movie. Gerard Butler is, uh, he's alright. This is not fitting well on his resume, or I should say it's fitting pretty good considering the last movie I saw him in was Gods of Egypt last year. So take that for what you will. Two uh, I give this movie a 2, that's it. Can't recommend this movie, this is probably going on my worst of the year list. Alright, that's all I have to say, oh, and in case you're wondering... Yeah, I know I said he wouldn't be back, but... Look at the eyes. how can I say no? So, when... Oh wait, let's go look how the weather... Maybe the weather got better outside since I saw this movie. Yeah, this is the footage. This is the type of horror you get when you watch a film like Geostorm. Enjoy the rain people and until next time, hopefully there are sunnier days ahead of us for the next movie. Bye!